Good day everyone, I'm the Hot Hobbit and welcome back to Pine. Today we're leaving pretty much where we left off last episode in the tomb of King Drool because we've got to find out what happened in the event known as the blunder to the people of the island and I'm pretty excited to find out what that is. So we're just going to jump straight into it to be honest, uh, hopefully not die too much. I will however grab these arrows if they are still arrows because some more arrows would probably be quite handy if we don't have any so let's just grab those and we'll just sort of continue onwards I think. Okay so now we're back in this main chamber hopefully we aren't gonna die to those bleakers again because those bleakers were well they, they were pretty powerful so uh, I'm actually gonna very quickly I think equip our bow because that is just gonna be a lot better than uh, for taking out these guys. There we go. Ah, oh, that's much better. Just being able to take out at least one of them, because honestly, it's going to be a lot better if we do it in this route rather than where we're doing it. So, just got to remember what controls I use to dodge in this game. And there we go. Both bleakers down. That was so much easier than I was making it out to be. All right, so let's have a look around. So it looks like there's definitely some some, some supplies over here. Looks like we got a singular roseberry from that massive box. I, 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 I don't know. A few more arrows, which is always handy for me. Uh, so what are we meant to do here then? Because I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we need to go down. So let's have a quick look. Definitely looks like there's a lever of some sort. So let's try pulling this. Ah, okay. So that has moved that platform around. So maybe we can jump across it now? It does look like we can, so let's just jump over here and see if there's anywhere specific that we need to go from here. It looks like we can go up here, which might allow us to jump over this way. It does look like it, so what is this going to be all for? It looks like it's another torch space, maybe, so maybe we need to look for a torch. Uh, I imagine hitting that will do some good. I'm actually going to save my arrows by switching back to my slingshot for now. So, okay, more bleak, more bleak as it seems, so back to the bow. I really wish there was a quicker way to do this, but... Okay, okay, that's one bleaker down, so let's take on the other one with our sword. Ow. Okay, good to know that you can't block that one. Okay, so we're running a little bit low on health. Uh, I definitely think I should eat here. Ow. I've really got a better time. To oh, for goodness sake. Uh, first death and we're not even five minutes into recording. Yippee. Okay, so let's try this again. Uh, hopefully it won't go as badly as it did last time. I think I missed. I definitely missed. Okay, so that's one of them down. Hopefully we won't die to the other one. Let's just run in, smack him a bit. Okay. Just block that. Hey, there we go. That's, that was a little bit better. So, let's see what we need to do up here. Because it definitely looks like there's something to do, which is quite important. Uh, it does look like this lever up here, so I think it's definitely going to be worth pulling this and seeing what it does. Okay. Uh, I have a feeling we should maybe pull this again. Okay, yeah, no. Yeah, okay. I think I see what we need to do here. Yeah, so if we pull this so it's like this, what we can do is I assume if we jump over to this platform here. Or maybe not, actually. Hmm. Uh, can I actually make that jump? That should be something I should check. Okay, so I can make that jump. Uh, and I just dashed off the edge. Oh, I'm back all the way over here. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I'm not. I'm an idiot. Okay, let's try that again. And hopefully not just dash off this time. I guess what we need to do is find a way 
over this way. So we know we can definitely jump this distance here. I know I can jump this way too because there's a lever. So pressing that one changes those. I think what we should be able to do is if we jump over to this spinning platform here, then jump over to this one, we should be able to jump onto these boxes, right? And then jump up here. Yes, that works perfectly. So, what are we going to find over here? Definitely looks like a door. Oh, that's the um, light that we need. Right, okay, so let's grab that. Uh, can I grab this? There we go. And we should be able to take this down to... Over here, if I remember correctly. Or was it over there? Uh, oh yeah, it was over there, wasn't it? So let's just hop over here. And we should just be able to, if I don't fall off the edge, put this in the slot that was over here. I'm once again exhausted. Uh, okay, note to self, you can't... Uh, you can't eat something whilst holding something. And am I seriously going to have to go all the way round again so I can get back up there? Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's put this torch in here. And we've landed back up at the front. So I wonder what we're going to find here. Got some more arrows, which is always good. A few roseberries as well. Right, so this is King Drill's throne. So what's this then? This must be the source the chief was talking about. Life from Albano, as we know it, was about to change. The rumors is true and the peril is big. All the species on the island must gather and discuss how to survive. We don't like each other very much, but the menace requires unity. Seems like this is a call for a meeting of a large scale, but who's asking for it and why? And this should be enough- yeah, this should be enough for the time of this research. So, every single species of the island was invited to join a meeting. I wonder what that giant scale event was. Maybe it was the humans? That'd be my guess, but I I don't know, honestly. Well, now now that we've got that sort of information, perhaps we should return to the Tambers, or maybe something will happen once we exit this cave. Uh, I, I imagine that stuff is going to become a lot harder very soon. So let's just exit this cave and see what happens. Ah, the lovely, lovely music in this game. Honestly, it doesn't look like anything too specific to do, so maybe we should head back to the Tambers right now. I suppose that's how we would get the next quest. Although I have just noticed that, which, if I remember, is pretty close to where Grok is. Gr Grob, even. So, I've, I've got to keep, keep looking for those am... am if it, <laughs> I'll never be able to pronounce that word in any sort of way, shape, or form. But you know what I'm talking about. Those things. Oh, interesting. So I just found this chest and opened it up without even thinking about it. And we got a new idea. So what's this? Outgo is shin guards. Protect a set of fit guards around the shins to make traversing and fighting less straining. That actually sounds like it would be quite useful. And actually, we, we're pretty close to having that. So all we really need is two Morohei and Gravel Moss. Which I think should be alright. Wait, how, how much stuff cloth does it need? Just the one. So actually, we're pretty close to getting that. That might be actually something to look towards getting. Hello, Alpha fans. I've missed you. Okay, so we're back at the Tambers now. Uh, so I wonder if they'll have anything to say about the research that we found. And if so, what on earth will they have to say? Oh, it doesn't look like anything. So maybe we should decide on a new place to look. So by the looks of things, we could either we could go for a lot of different ones. I have a feeling we should go for the crocodiles. I don't know. I, I think they. That these guys are the crocodiles. Yeah, crockers. To be honest, they scare the living puffle out of the tambers. <laughs> they demand respect with their enormous posture and aggressive behavior. This species has grown into the impressive beasts they are, all from the comfort of their humid shores. They are proud to be warriors and have famous initiation process for young crockers too. Us tambers have not been able to get far with them apart from trivial trading. Luckily, there is one ancient crocker shaman who has been, you know, who we've been able to converse with as he values knowledge, albeit more the supernatural kind. It's important that you perform their initiation ritual, which you do by taking and showing the High Shaman some blood berries from their initiation cave. Those, the old crocker resides in one of the towers in the Soggy Woodlands. I shall mark both on your map, good luck. Right, didn't we, didn't we find that, um, that tower? 
Because I'm pretty sure we did, if I remember correctly. It may have been a while ago, but we if you remember, we found this weird tower thing in the woods. So maybe that was the tower that this guy was going on about. I honestly wonder if that's the tower that they were talking about, because it does look like that there are lights up there, so maybe, may, maybe that's the tower they were talking about? I'm honestly not too sure, but I am de most definitely going to take out this bleaker. There we go, half health already, that's always good. Okay. Just make sure not to get absolutely obliterated by them. There we go. Easy as pie. Ah. That, 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 that's a bit of a problem though. Uh, we're, we're just gonna do our best to sort of just avoid you if we can. Um, because otherwise that might be a problem. Rich fat and oh, oh my goodness, I don't even know what that is. Um, uh, I've, I, I think it's best if we just avoid these guys for now. So let's head to that tower. I think it was over here, if I remember correctly. Because... Honestly, that seems like the best option we've got so far. Maybe we'll find that old Crocker and see what he has for us. If anything. Actually, whilst we're around here, is there... Like, this is for the, um... Uh, the moose people, I think. So do we have anything that they'd like? Because... Honestly, I'd love to be able to get all of these into at least the neutral so they don't attack us all the time. So it does look like we can train him a few things. So let's let's give him some wheat and let's give him uh, probably like five iron and see what that does. Okay, it does not, it does a decent amount. Do we have Oh, we've got plenty of marwood. Let, let's give him like 10. Barely still hostile, so maybe a few more wheat. Maybe... Do, do we have any... Yeah, we do have some tin flowers. So let's give them a few of those. There we go. They're, they're now in the neutral as well. So hopefully they won't attack us. Uh, they're going to still attack us, aren't they? Okay, so I've been wandering in, complete wrong, in the complete wrong direction for a while now, so... Uh, let, let's just go back to roughly where the initiation cave is. Ah, there's a crocker, so we must be at least close to where we need to be. Um, I'm hoping that I can avoid this guy, because I'm pretty sure they're still very hostile to us at the moment, so... It probably isn't the best idea to at least try meeting them and straight up yet. Okay, so we're pretty close to where this cave is supposedly going to be. Uh, although I'm not exactly sure whereabouts it is actually going to be because it is a reasonably large area I feel like it'll probably probably be a slight bit higher than this although that maybe that's it over there honestly I'm, I'm glad that these guys are, are somewhat friendly to us because it just means that we don't need to worry about them as much we don't need to go absolutely crazy and just avoid them all the time uh, it doesn't look like it's up here, but there is an Amphiscus Orb here. So we're definitely going to take that for Brock Grop. Well, I've been looking for this cave for a little while now, but I can't find it. But I did find this giant structure over here, so we're definitely going to check this out. Uh, we're, we're now nowhere near where it's supposedly going to be, but... I mean, it's fine, I suppose. I mean, it's nice that we found this, so... I wonder what's going to be inside. Or, 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 or on top of this. Okay, what am I meant to do with that? Uh, oh, it definitely looks like there's a lot going on here, a lot of which I have no idea what to do with. So maybe this is just going to have to be something I deal with later, because I imagine it's going to be something to do with those up there, but it doesn't look like we can do anything with it yet, so that's a bit of a shame, but honestly... I've been spending a lot of time just wandering around the world, and I honestly just love how beautiful this place is. Oh, maybe not, actually. Hold on. So, maybe... Yeah, so the, if you look over there, there's a third sort of... Um, torch thing. So maybe if we put this in here... That lift up that. And that brings up that. Okay, so what's this one over here then? 
Ah, so this is just a target thing. So let's just uh, smack that. And that should rotate out of the way, revealing to us this light thing. So let's go look at the pattern again, because I'm pretty sure the pattern in which you need to do it is how we're going to be able to get this. So, so it's left, right, up. Okay, so that should be easy enough. Left, right, and up. And that should be what we need to do. Right? Maybe? Uh, do we need to hit this again? Or... It does look like it. Oh, that's fantastic. And that gives us a chest. So, what's going to be in this one? Ah, a new, uh, a new arm guards thing. So, what's this? Uh, oh, we are nowhere near that. Oh, we need some Drunica for that, though. Interesting. Holy moly, that is some good defense, if anything. Blimey, that is going to be coming in hand. That will come in handy, I know for sure. But I, I, I honestly have none of these ingredients right now, except for those bleaker antennas. So I think for now, we should probably just keep that in mind and just sort of move on. What on earth is that? Is, is that like a hut or something? I have a feeling I should have taken the other um, quest. Maybe the one for the moose, considering that we literally just befriended them. So what's this up here then? Well, it looks like there's more key, key graphite, so I'll quickly grab that. But what on earth is this? It does seem to be like a small hut of sorts, but nothing is here. So oh, hmm. hello. I don't think I've ever met you before. But you definitely look like someone important. So I definitely remember. I'll definitely remember that this is here. Uh, can I actually mark this on my map? I can mark this on my map. Oh, that's excellent to know. Right, okay. So, I did see the tower off in the distance just over there. So you can kind of see it in the mist. So, I'm going to face this direction and sort of place a marker roughly where it is. So, I think it's roughly here. So, let's travel to there and see if that does anything. Actually, before that, it should probably be a good idea to go through the cave, considering it says to do it in the sort of, like, the quest log. So... Let's see if we can find this really quickly. Uh, apparently, it'll be, well, it's a scary cave, so it's somewhere near here. And it, I'm guessing it'll be on this edge. It, so let's just see what there is, I suppose. <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> uh, right, let's hope, this, let's hope this doesn't put us too far back. Okay, that's that. That's not too bad. Although, has it got rid of my markers? I think it has. So let, let's roughly put them where they were before, because I roughly remember where they were. But let, let's just sort of like head down, head back down this sort of mountain a little bit, because I imagine, I, I I imagine to be honest, it's going to be more likely to be at the base of the mountain rather at the top. Actually, that that's probably a much better symbolization of where that is. So it's actually more here-ish rather than there. All right, good to know. Yeah, that's about right. So, where on earth is this gonna be? Oh, what the? What's going on? Uh, huh? Huh? <laughs> <Wait. laughs> well, that was unexpected. Okay, so I've been looking for this cave for a while now and I honestly just cannot find it, so. I'm going to have to leave that till next episode because we have very unfortunately run out of time for this one. So I'd like to thank you all ever so much for watching this episode on Pine. If you did enjoy it, please consider leaving a like on the video and a comment telling me that uh, you did. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel and it's completely free and you can unsubscribe at any time you want. But apart from that, all I have left to say is see ya, take care and bye bye.